Hello! Welcome! Today we have a good episode today. today. All right. YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Cynthia Klein. I'm from Argentina. David, you're the director of this school. Uh, I have a question for you. Great. First of all, let me cut in and say that's the best introduction we've had yet. That's great. Uh, well done. <laughs> okay, she did all the work for me. Fantastic. <laughs> What's your question? My question <laughs> is, I am, I am very intrigued with psychology and mm. how that has something to do with acting. Mm. So, um, when, since we're very young, no? uh, a lot of things happen to us. First of all, our parents feed us, our parents, uh, they're doing everything for us, changing our diapers, mm. everything. The first five, six years of our life are super important. Mm. And uh, that will condition how we live and how we perceive life, uh, 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 you know, in the rest of our life. Yes. So I want to know what you think about is, um, you know, t uh, talking to a therapist and to the psychologist mm. to, to be able to uh, remove or, or adjust this conditioning for acting. Yeah, well, first of all, you're right. I mean, that, the conditioning we have, especially young, mm. pre-verbal even, uh, can be very powerful, right? It sort of creates a lens mm. for the way you see the world, the way you look at, you know, the way you look at this conversation, the way you look at the people around you. It can create a, a lens that may um, distort your view, but everyone's view is distorted. Mm. So no one really has a pure vision. Does that make sense? Yes. Which is good to know, right? That even this idea is, that since everyone is subjective, your, vi your vision of the world is no, is no worse than anyone else's. Yes. In terms of therapy or, or the psychological tools for the actor, I'm not talking about character now, yeah. for the actor, one, I believe in therapy because I think it's good for your life, yeah. right? So I'm, I'm a big fan of therapy. It's helped me and I think it's helped a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. Do you have to do therapy to be an actor? No, no, yeah. right? So therapy and acting often work with similar material. So they're working with your early memories, they might be working with your conditioning, your behavior, the thoughts you have in your head, yeah. right, that sometimes get in the way. All good things to address to a therapist. And in acting, we work with those same materials because we're working with the human material, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. we're, we're all in the same playing field, but we have a different aim mm. than a therapist, right? Mm -hmm. um, and some things that a therapist has to drive for, like complete understanding, Right? They really want you to understand and be able mm -hmm. to talk about it in a way. Some of those things are not required for the actor. Mm -hmm. You don't need to understand everything. You just need to know how, it, you just need to be accountable for how it works in your performance. Yes. Yeah? Uh, can I ask? Yeah. Is that, for example, when you're doing relaxation, no? um, um, and uh, you, you can get uh, you know, these images from uh, your unconscious mind yeah, yeah, like sure. when, when you go into sensory. We want that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, there's also some part when you want to restrain that. Yeah, Don't yeah. you think that therapy might help you to not restrain that? Sure, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, what therapy can do is if it gives you a little more safety, mm -hmm. that can be helpful. Mm -hmm. Now here's the catch. There's always a catch, right? <laughs> here's the catch. The, the catch is you want to use that safety to take a risk. Mm -hmm. So where people get stuck sometimes, they say, well, I've gone over that in therapy and I, I don't care about that anymore. No, no. And they miss the fact that that allows you that safety that you may have developed in therapy, or by the way, you've developed in meditation, or you've developed because you go for long runs mm -hmm. and you just start to regulate your emotional life a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That regulation enables you to climb a little higher on the mountain, mm. right? To go a little further out on the limb of the tree, to risk more. When you use that safety just to be safe, just to feel comfortable, your work doesn't grow. Yes. So th that's, I think, where people get confused sometimes, is they think of their work, their psychological work, as being, I want to feel better, I want to feel more composed, mm -hmm. and that's not good for my acting. No. No, you, you, you want to feel more composed so that you can dive a little deeper into the events, that you can actually experience things that a couple of years ago were too scary for you. Mm -hmm. But now you can get in there and you can actually channel it because your body, at some level, has some faith that you're going to be okay. Yes. Right? So that that's where I think that's useful. But you also don't... Uh, I don't know if we ever change that early that early life, that, that lens, mm -hmm. right? And I'm not sure we would change it even if we could. 
I understand what yeah, you're saying. Right? Yeah. Right. Like if you think of talent. We want that. No. We want that. That's yeah. that's what makes you you. Yeah. Right. And sometimes people want to get rid of it to be more like somebody else. No. Right. They want to be more like someone who they see on TV who looks perfect. Yeah. You know. But of course, you're only seeing that person on TV in that role. And you so don't know. You don't know. You know. You never see the crappy stuff on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat. Yeah. Right. All the all the tough moments. You know, like the rainy days are. You don't put it in a frame and hang on a wall. You know, yeah. I took that from a country music song, but you know, it's, it's still. Um, and yet, it's what makes you you. So what you can do is you can change your relationship to that to that perspective. Some people are paranoid. Some people are fearful. Some people are kind of arrogant and entitled. Yeah. You never totally lose those things, mm -hmm. but you can have a you can be a little more accountable to them. They, in a way, you can have them instead of them running your life. Yeah, you kind of learn to live with that. Exactly right? right. And actually in partnership. So it's more like you're yeah. putting your arm around that part and going, like, oh yeah, we're together. Yeah. Like the entitled part of me and the part of me that wants to work hard and yeah. earn this, like we're both in this instead of you stay over there and stop stop ruining my life. Yeah. Right? So that's that's where I think uh, that early experience is really valuable because it forms your perspective. And that perspective is the one totally unique thing about you as an actor. And if you're not using it, if you're not using your unique way of seeing the world, then then you've got room to grow as an actor. Yeah. You're not doing your best work as an actor. Yeah. yeah. No, and so we can take more risks. You can take more risks. Yeah. Exactly right. Exactly right. That's the goal. Yeah.